Has anyone out there ever traveled by light rail? Now it's not exactly the most luxurious way to travel and it's definitely not perfect. But for the most part, it's inexpensive, efficient, and a fun way to get where you need to go without traffic and without expensive parking fees. Sound Transit's light rail is currently 26 miles in length and runs from North Seattle to just south of the SeaTac Airport. By the way, they plan to expand from 26 miles to 116 miles and include more cities and more communities. But that's for a future video. Today, we're going to utilize the current 26 mile route and start at Angle Lake in the city of SeaTac. We're going to take the rail and hop off at Chinatown in the International District. As you see in this video, the ride is nice and doesn't take long at all. We'll not only walk through and eat in Chinatown, we'll also get a chance to visit the Klondike Gold Rush National Park located in downtown Seattle. Not far from there is a world famous Pike's Place Market and we'll get up and close and see all the delicious food that are found there. So come and join us as we take the light rail to Seattle here on another episode of Partido Family Adventures. Angle Lake Station is the very first station if you're traveling north to Seattle. The station is new and parking is free. Hey everyone, today we are at the Angle Lake uh, Light Rail Station here in uh, uh, SeaTac, uh, Washington and we're getting ready to head up to Seattle. Uh, we're going to be visiting the um, uh, Bruce Lee's favorite restaurant, we're going to visit Pike's Place and all that stuff in Seattle so uh, we're gonna do the light rail which is in the back right now and uh, right now we're at the parking structure you guys ready to go yep yep <laughs> yeah all right what about you Christian yes yeah you ready to go yep and there it is please report Hey, you guys get your ride free. How much is it per ticket? Six dollars for adults and children ride free. Children ride free. They just changed it. We just found that out, so. And as you can see, we're right next to the airport. We made it on the uh, light rail. We're uh, first. Uh, it's pretty much empty, but as we, because uh, this is a first train stop, as we continue on, it's gonna keep going and uh, see how empty it is. But uh, in a little while, it's gonna fill up. So we're at the end of the line. Yep. We're at the south end. The south end of the line, heading north. got off the uh, stop at the Chinatown and this is our first stop. Tung. This is Bruce Lee's favorite restaurant, so here we are. Okay. 
and we are ready to eat. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, look what we got. Look what we got here. Come on, let's go get it. Let's go, let's go get it. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo. Let's, let's go grab it, go grab it. Let's go. During the gold rush in the 1800s, the city of Seattle flourished with travelers eager to find gold. This National Park Museum is dedicated to that time period. The museum is two floors, which includes exhibits, tons of information, and a theater which shows a 20-minute movie every half hour. Go at your own pace, and best of all, admission is free. Hello everyone, we are currently at the world famous Pikes Market in Seattle. World famous. World, world famous. <laughs> and we're going to be walking around. All right, we are at Pike's Market, and this is the famous gum wall. Gum. All right, Christian, I need you to go up and take a gum off and chew it. Ew. Huh? No. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's right. We washed it all down, they cleared it off. Now it's all on the ground. This is the very, very first Starbucks ever created here in, here in uh, Seattle. This is the very first Starbucks very first store. Starbucks. Yep. So. Oh, look at that line. And look at that line. Just to get, just to get in, you gotta. There's a line to get in. And then it goes in there. We're not gonna stand in that line. <laughs> 
We hope you enjoyed this edition of Partido Family Adventures and our day trip to Seattle. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And remember, it's always time for an adventure.